Welcome back, Tribe. We've got one here from Man Guide. <laughs> Women have a meltdown over gyms banning cameras and filming them. The gym and they just called the cops on me. This is so unfair. They said that it's illegal for me to have <laughs> the biggest ass they've ever seen. <laughs> I got a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> Some women on social media are upset after it's been found out LA Fitness is now banning people from recording individuals in the gym without their permission to combat this new trend of false accusations wow. against men in the gym. That need to be said again and again with fierce conviction. So goofy alert. This all started when it became a trend where women on TikTok will record themselves at the gym then if a man pops up in the background, falsely accuse him of being a creep or stating that he was doing something he wasn't. Some women on our social media are upset saying that this is stopping them from protecting themselves and sharing oh. their stories of the gym when men they, or they feel like men are being creeps, which is complete cap because so far all the videos that have exposed these so-called creeps have been exposed to be false. Not to mention there's a reason why there's gym staff Report the person to the gym staff. Disclaimer, I love and respect women. I do not support hate towards them. Please do not remove this video. Yeah, look, the the video has been taken down. Of course. Where was that on? I think this looks like TikTok. Another reason why most of the content creators I know don't use TikTok because they'll literally ban you for absolutely nothing. It's It's weird to say that YouTube allows more than TikTok, but they do. I have a ton of shorts that have gone up on TikTok and it's ban instantly bans accounts. No point in using that platform unless it's something extremely mundane or you're for the narrative that's destroying the West because it's the China weapon. It's really all it is. Video. That one didn't age quite so well. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? What are you? Okay. Okay, Ann? Okay, so you can do that in the locker room or you can do it at home, but like, don't record other people while we're working out. All right? Well, I paid for my membership so I can record. I you can record yourself, but you can't record us. All right? And we're in the background of that video. Trust me, yeah, nobody's looking at you. This is just for my content. So I'm sure that's what you believe. You don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, let us go. Can you just point it another way? I, I ain't gonna lie, I was filming it. And I was sent back. I was gonna file a complaint because I was actually filming this. But you actually you. said something. So at this point, this is a hot wow. mess. Thank you. Okay. Just, well, I paid for my membership look, just no, 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 like. No, no. Excuse look, you. Point excuse it over you. here and do your workout here, and no one's in the background. Of your How about I point it wherever I like because I pay for my own membership. Take your over here. And you guys can no, leave don't get, don't me alone. Don't get too much arrested. You gotta, you gotta hit that. How about so, leave so. me alone? Look, just point it. Excuse over you. Here. Point it over excuse there. you. My question is, why can't you just point it that way? My question is, why can't you all mind your business? Because this isn't your gym. This is all of our gym. Okay. Well, this section is mine since I paid for. Okay, well then go over there, back to where you were. Nobody was bothering you. But people you. come in this gym and they don't want to be on camera. I'm pretty we're sure, like you got other people over There's here. There's cameras all over the gym, so. Yeah, those are for security. They don't get posted on social media. Okay, right? and <laughs> trust me, nobody will ever notice you guys behind. Why does everybody have to be a part of your content, though? I don't want to You're not. The content's focused on me. Look, nobody clicks look, on it to see you. He doesn't like here. being in other people's yeah, videos. Good for you. Why don't you go somewhere else? No, because that, we've, we've, been here first. Here. we've been here. First. Are you joking? That sounds like a personal problem to me. No, okay, so like personal, personal problem, problem is that you need us in the back of your video. Just turn around. I don't around. need you. I'd rather then, you not be there, but then, here we are. like this and put it in front of the How wall. How about you Look, stop touching my stuff? this way. Sir, and you're good. stop touching my stuff. Can we get somebody over here? Okay. I've been, yeah, because sure you guys are like insulting me. Watch, I, I this is a hot mess. Yeah, yeah, this is not right. Like, are, are, are you this that is a hot, full of yourself? This is a hot mess. You're that conceited that you got to sit here and do this? Ma'am, just put it down here. Just, yeah. Excuse you. Excuse you. No. Leave it alone. This is not yours. You don't get to touch that. You need to grow up. Don't worry. I got it. I got it all on camera. Thank I got you. it all on camera. Yeah, I mean, just show that to the front desk and they'll take care of it. You're going to lose your membership. Just go back to doing your little you, you, workout. You think you can do this, though? Like, just go back you're to your workout. I don't feel workout. comfortable working out around her. Like, Dude, I'm, it's not right. You're going to lose your entire membership over being vain right now and not wanting to like, <coughs> play fair. Sounds you're like your problem. No, it's not my problem until I'm on the video. Just Excuse you. Yeah, face yeah. it the other way around, all right? I don't want to. This is a public gym. This is like some kind of. Do you know there's a no filming policy in this gym for a reason? No, there isn't. And then, like, you're here. Okay. <laughs> yes, there is. You're not <laughs> allowed. Okay, yeah, you're not well, allowed we'll be happy you when you see my content. You and it brings record. in a bunch of other people. You cannot record the contract you signed since you can't record other people working yeah. out. I didn't For see any that. reason. I it's in the. It's don't know if this is a skit or it's real, but that's really capturing the mentality that they have. They really think they're doing. God's gift to this gym owner right here. And they're going to bring in millions of people signing up new subscriptions. Wow. Guys, 
just because this mid is doing pink dumbbell workouts. It's in the contract that you signed. Wait, wait, you get out of my <laughs> shot. Get out of my shot. You won't be You're honest. putting people in the shot. I'm not putting anybody I'm, I literally have a camera right here. I can you see You have legs. You put you your body there. You this anywhere. The, the literally, stop moving it. This is the bench area. I'll put your work. I'll put the, the weights up. Yeah, stop like, moving like, it. No, literally. We need, we need to stop. We need, to, we need to thank goodness. We record like several no. times. Um, seven, you know, come on, dude. <laughs> they had to mute this for the music. Um, come on. It's they should have a clothing policy at the gym. Seriously, guys showing off at the gym. Part one I was doing yoga, and then this guy walked across the turf, threw the medicine ball at the wall three times, and then left. Gotta love that. What sucks about this is they're going to institute like a real harsh, no filming at all policy, not just filming other people. They won't allow you to film yourself. So, you know, those guys like, uh, what's his name? That young kid that's working out and just making real long form videos with little editing. I forget his name, but he wears a hat. He's got like curly hair. You guys, uh, Sam, I believe his name is something like that. Anywho. Guys like that won't be allowed to do things like this anymore if a lot of these commercial gyms keep getting complaints about people being filmed and stuff, which is unfortunate. Because now we're going to have to go to private gyms and then eventually it's going to have to be like gyms that are completely separated or you have to sign a waiver saying you're allowed to film or not allowed to film and yada, 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 yada. All just, you know, we're in a trust-based society. All just because some bozos want to get famous on TikTok. They want attention. Wearing the most ridiculous shit imaginable that you shouldn't be wearing at the gym in the first place. Didn't I tell you guys that women sexualize every single space they insert themselves into? Uh, keep lifting, bro. What's the problem? I really don't know why this man is staring at me. Um... I'm pretty sure it's because he fancies me or he thinks I'm a weirdo. Let's go. He's about to pass. Do you see him? He's giving me the heebie jeebies. Started a new gym today only to find out people don't have gym etiquette. What? Here I was recording my leg stretch session for the past 15 minutes and this lady chose to squeeze between a narrow space and walk across my video despite having a bigger space to walk through on the other side. Wow, the entitlement. No one gives a shit you're recording. Mind you, the space between me and my phone is not that wide and it was obviously set up on a bright pink hydro flask. Who gives a shit? If you, look, even if you wanted to film yourself, how about you go to the gym right when they open, 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? or right before closing, an hour before, when it's usually empty, or the emptiest, so you can get the best shot you could possibly get without being disturbed or disturbing other people. It's that simple. Damn, bozo. And why go to a commercial gym? If anything, you should go to a local gym. Those aren't as packed as these big ass commercial gyms that every mom and pop goes to, all the casuals. But you know, the main problem is there's no attention there. There's no people gawking at you there. There's no people walking in your shot and giving you clout there. There's no drama there. It's just hard work. There's people just getting after it, ignoring the shit out of you. That's the problem. And here comes this guy who walked around, see? but then you seems see? to walk in front even though he already saw me recording. And by the way, for this example specifically, as an editor, let me tell you right now. But then chose to walk in front even though he also- She's holding that shitty pose. She could literally cut the video right here and go into the next pose. Or you can honestly, let the person walk by while you hold your static pose and do a cut and nobody would notice. It wouldn't even be an issue. You're making a scene every time someone walks by you. Already Come on. Recording. No longer was it a place of iron, sweat, blood, and brotherhood. This is what modern gyms became. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, this is what passes for a workout today. But you see the clout chasing? Probably has a no fans. Sign up to my link in the bio directly. Push ups. 
this woman is doing push-ups. Her clam is getting more of a workout here than any other body part. But don't you dare look at her in the gym. That's unforgivable. The only thing this woman is working out for is social media views. If it wasn't pretty much a sure thing that she was going to get a lot of views for this, she probably wouldn't even be in the gym in the first place. Max. You can't possibly tell me that there's any other reason besides attention that she's doing this. There's no other explanation. If she genuinely wanted to exercise the same muscle groups, she would just go on the leg press machine like a normal person. But no, she's a modern woman fitness influencer, so she's allergic to anything even remotely normal. Yep. She needs to stand out somehow, even if it means looking like a complete and total clown. The point is, the only way they know how to stand out is by undressing themselves. That's the issue. That's all the game they have today. How do I make myself unique? Oh, show more skin. Oh, become more of a degenerate. Shock factor. Sexualization. That's literally the one card they have in the book to stand out in every single space they insert themselves into today. Have you noticed? I mentioned a few videos ago, Twitch. How when a girl came, gamers came on the scene, the only way they could stand out against other men was sexualizing themselves, showing boobs, push-up bras, and then Hot Tub Meta came along. Now you can apply this to every single thing. Normal streaming of what is it on Twitch? Just chilling or just chatting, whatever. Just watch those. Watch those. It's mind-numbingly stupid. They talk about nothing. They're not entertaining. It's all sexualization. Every single space. Name me a space where that has not happened. Where men occupied and then women moved in and it didn't get sexualized. Please, I will be reading the comments just to find one of these spaces where it's kept strictly based on merit, competitive ability, and capability. Where there's zero sexualization. Please. Because I haven't found anywhere that I've looked. And men are tired of it. Listen to this amazing rant from a guy who's had enough of modern gym women. Okay, I'm going to preface this by saying that not all girls in the gym are bad. For the most part, they do their own thing and don't care, like everybody else at the gym. But man, some gym girls just ruin going to the gym. Yep. I was doing some cardio on the treadmill, and there were two rows of treadmills. And I was just running on one of the ones in the back row, going about my day. Then this group of like four girls come in and hop on the first row, talking about stuff. I just keep running, but I was looking up, and she must have had a problem with the fact that my pupils went over her butt for like a split second while I was looking forward. They murmur, and one of the girls says something like, I'm gonna run backwards, her, her, her. At first, I thought they were joking about something else or whatever, so I keep running. But when I'm looking at the clock on the wall, I see what looks like her turning around and staring into my soul in my peripheral vision. I keep looking at the clocks as I'm kinda weirded out, and finally I look at her face and yup, she is staring right into my soul. I put two and two together and realized she had a problem with me looking in her general direction. And I roll my eyes in my head, but I respect her wishes and focus on the clock, not wanting to cause any trouble. I'm staring at the clock while running and she stares at me again. If anything, this guy is the one who should be complaining about harassment. These women were staring at him, not the other way around. But we all know that would never get taken seriously. But this kind of behavior from women is to be expected. Feminism created a paradigm in the minds of modern women, thereby they are entitled to anything and everything for no effort or sacrifice whatsoever. Suddenly, modern women influencers, a term I absolutely despise, started setting up their tripods, filming themselves, and generally acting like they own the place. And yes, if you just so happen to stroll into their frame, suddenly you are the bad guy. You are the one with poor gym etiquette, according to these women. Just look at the entitlement from this next woman. Wow. Unreal. Also, another thing about this dynamic that you need to notice is that they always do this stuff to guys that are built like this. I'm, I'm not trying to clown on this dude. Good shit. Being in the gym, take care of your body. But she would never do this to a guy that's like absolutely jacked, tatted up, sleeved arm, all that stuff. Never in a million years would she say anything to those kinds of guys. There's a specific man, a body type that in there, this is Mr. Invisible in her eyes. I need you guys to see this from this lens. That this guy is just a nuisance in her mind, period. He's not 
I don't even want to bring up sexual potential because we're at the gym and working out, but there's a difference in the way they treat men that have sexual potential and then these nuisance like bug sandwich dudes that, and I'm saying this from the woman's point of view. I'm not saying this guy's a bug sandwich type, but she views him as this. This is why she feels like she has the right to because he's beneath her. Get out of my shot, you loser. Can you imagine her saying that to some dude that's like the epitome of Chad? working out right there next to her that makes her nervous and trembles just looking his way and giggly and shit and taking secret photos of him and sharing with her girlfriends like oh my god this guy's so hot there's they treat these men completely differently depending on how they view you on the attraction scale it's true it really is true man this is what you see happening don't kill the messenger i'm just letting you know i've seen this happen i've worked out with my buddies a bunch of times we had one dude that looked well, a thousand times worse than this dude he was literally he looked like a bug's life. That's what his build was like. He had a gut. He was skinny fat. Wasn't the most attractive dude in the group. And girls were constantly creeped out by him just being in their presence. But me and other friends and other dudes that were completely shredded about to compete. Dude, girls are giggling. They're secretly taking videos and photos. I caught one girl actually doing this one time when I was in college. And I was walking over to um, some cable machine, I think. And she was on the Stairmaster with her phone up like this, like videoing me, it's super obvious because I'm looking down at my phone walking and then I'm looking up and I'm catching her. She goes like this. You know, when you catch someone in the act of doing something like she's like giggling and shit. And I'm like, wow, that was weird. That was the first time I ever caught somebody doing that. But yeah, they they do it too. Now that is just attraction, how hot they think you are. Now, if this guy was one of these dudes, this conversation would have never happened. Likewise, I got disrespected to at the gym when I very, my very, one of my first times ever going to gym, skinny as shit, dude. I think this was 10th grade. Yeah, sometime in high school. And I was on the uh, Smith machine trying to do incline. I'll never forget this because holy shit. I was trying to do incline chest press. After I finished my set with my baby weight, whatever the hell it was, because I was like 140 pounds soaking wet. Some chick, dude, with the audacity working out in the squat machine next to the Smith machine grab the weight off my off my machine like the actual weight i was using not the extra not the spares she grabbed the weight that i had on the bar and i was too shy to say anything shout outs to you lady because i that was the start of a journey that kind of disrespect <laughs> it was so funny I, I think she grabbed like a 15 pounder 20 pounder something like that super light dude yeah I don't even think she knew which one she grabbed. She was probably a casual. Not not to be disrespectful, but damn, that was about the presence I had of an ant. That she just like nonchalantly grabbed the weight off my bar and proceeded to work out with it. I had to get up and put the weight back on. Another weight. Yeah. Your presence, the energy you exude and all that shit, it does matter, dude. From the way men treat you, women treat everybody, the way they look at it. That's why they say like a man in a suit. You get treated completely differently. This is the quickest way, by the way, to see what I'm talking about is buy a suit that you can tailor. Get it tailored. Wear it around town doing the same exact shit you do. Go to the coffee shop, go to the grocery store, go wherever, gas station, wherever, and just watch the way people interact with you. Be very mindful of this. So one day go into your normal like a uh, t-shirt and shorts everywhere. Watch the way people greet you, the way they talk to you, and then go with a tailored suit to the same exact places or places nearby, so you don't get the same exact people potentially, and watch how they treat. Or go and get the same exact people, and you can see the shock reaction if they remember you from the day before. It's it's nuts, man. Appearances do matter. People do judge a book by its cover. Let me tell you what poor gym etiquette is. Setting up a tripod, hogging a piece of equipment for an hour, and filming people in public without their permission. How dare these women declare themselves the ultimate dictators on what gym etiquette is? Gym etiquette is all about considering the experiences of other people. But the fact is, these modern women in gyms are some of them. That's how it used to be when there was still bro culture. When it was still mainly men. When it was hard to find a woman in the free weight section. Now they're everywhere. Now this like influencer fitness bullshit on Instagram and TikTok has taken over so much. It's caused, it's opened up a lane for them to monetize. 
and make it in life. And they have like mid physiques, um, trash workouts, horrible diet and fitness knowledge. But because, you know, they're wearing that suggestive stuff, doing those suggestive poses and workouts, it's what gets views from a bunch of you know, boys and they're making too much money off it. It's a vicious cycle that rewards the degenerate behavior. That's that once that culture opened up, gym etiquette changed forever. It's it was really broy, very helpful, you know, guys giving everybody pointers. I still remember this old man. So this was say a few years after that lady with my zero presence. There's an old man with his young boy. He was probably 16 years old, 15 years old, and they were on the bench presses and I was doing inclines and they were doing flat you know, if you could imagine the benches are right next to each other. And I'll never forget this either. I was benching 225 at the time. And his son was barely working up to, I think, one plate, if that, a little bit less. So he was doing a little less than 135s, struggling, like working his ass off. And his old man was just watching me bench after his son had finished his set. And he came over and he's, he congratulated me. Because again, I'm just, I'm a young dude too, only a few years older than his son. And he was just like, wow, nice form. You're really strong. How long you've been working out, yada, yada, yada. And I just started having a conversation with this old man and his kid. I'm just like, man, I barely started a few years ago. I could barely get this, you know, bar up. And I just kept at it. And I wanted to, you know, feel more confident about myself and get some attention from girls and blah, 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 blah. And then they started laughing. We're just shooting the shit. And it was very brotherly, very cool, very helpful advice, you know. And he'd been working out for a decade, just giving me pointers too and he started just training his son because his son had took interest in bodybuilding and wanting to look better and feel better about himself. And that was really the energy you'd get in the gym. Other moments where a dude, I'll remember this too, years later, uh, had a guy at a gym in Phoenix, I believe, just a few years ago, wanting to learn how to squat. So this was this guy's like first or second day in the gym, I think, ever, ever. Pretty well-built dude, like he had potential. And I'm over there in the squat rack, just squatting, whatever, and... He comes up to me and he asks me, he's like, hey, dude, um, I've never done s squats. I don't really know. Like, how do I get the weight racked? Like he didn't even know how to get the bar up there to put the, the what do you call those things? Those blocks to adjust the height of where you want your bar. And he's like, I, I don't really know how to set up the squat rack. And I was like, oh, shit, for real? And I'm like, cool. And just started like, I was just like vomiting knowledge on this kid for like 10 plus years of working out. I don't know how much he remembered, but it was so cool to be that helpful to somebody so new. That energy is dead in the gym now. It's just a bunch of broccoli heads on New Year resolutions, like 16 fucking kids hogging up the machine, taking videos of themselves, talking about whatever chicks they're talking to, garbage. And then there's a bunch of these chicks that are just clout chasing. It's so garbage. And that's essentially what's the majority of the gyms today. It sucks, dude. It sucks. It's changed so much. I hope, I hope they start to make private gyms. I don't know how you could institute them to be male only. Maybe if you separate the spaces out, maybe that's legally how you could do it in the United States or other parts of the world. But that's one thing I really enjoyed about some of the gyms in Dubai is they were very separated. Maybe, maybe one day, boys, we'll get that too most entitled women you will find in our society. They almost completely lack empathy for the experiences of those around them. They simply don't care if it makes other people uncomfortable to appear on a TikTok video, as long as they get the views from it. But some serious changes are on the horizon, and it's only just beginning. Men walking away from gyms have fundamentally changed things. Gyms very quickly realized that the majority of their customers were men especially their most loyal and devoted customers. And when you alienate the majority of your most loyal consumer base, it starts to affect your bottom line. And any corporation will pay attention when money starts to dry up. This is the power of walking away. The person who has the most power in any negotiation is the one who has the ability to walk away. It's the person who cares less who wields the most power. And when men start to walk away, this is when things start to change. And here's how that change is starting to look. In the UK at least, many gyms have finally decided to ban recording equipment. People have been saying this for years. There are countless examples online of people expressing that recording in the gym should be bundled together. The main mm. argument against this is that some people record in the gym for non-social media related reasons like checking their form on certain exercises. But this is in the overwhelming minority of cases. True. For every guy looking to film his form, there are 10 entitled TikTok brats looking to film their ass for views, or hopefully catch a guy glancing Facts. in their direction so they can drag him through a social media shitstorm. The worst aspects of female nature have been on full display while recording has been permitted in gyms. 
we've seen straight up bullying happen regularly. When you're not in great shape and not feeling confident about yourself, going into the gym can be one of the hardest things you ever do. But luckily for us, change is happening. According to an article in The Guardian, UK gyms are going through a huge crackdown on this sort of ridiculous attention-seeking behavior, and I couldn't be happier about it. Pure Muscles Gym in Walthamstow, North London has banned the use of tripods at weekends. Chains are also starting to act. Virgin Active tells members it will ask for images to be deleted if they raise any concern. And Fitness First says other users who may end up in videos or pictures must give their consent. A spokesperson for Pure Gym, which has more than 340 UK gyms, said it is important to respect one another's privacy. This is why our gym rules clearly state that people should not take photographs or videos on the premises unless they have permission. We also ask people to not post remarks or imagery to the internet, including social media platforms that may identify Good. another person. This is great news, but I wouldn't hold your breath. Without a doubt, the best that you can possibly do as a man is to walk away and build your own home gym. Just imagine how- Home gyms are pretty dope, by the way. They do cost a little bit of money. You can make them super cheap. You can get the selectable weight dumbbells so you could have all everything. I think they're like three, four hundred bucks. You can find a bunch of used stuff on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist, wherever it is that you look. If you're in the US, there's a bunch of places that you could find a ton of equipment that people don't use that much and are selling for the cheap. I would just had a meeting with a group in the private community and same thing. We were talking about used gym equipment, like how good those rogue bikes are, those assault bikes for weight loss and just burning the most amount of calories in the shortest amount of time. And you can find them for half off or even more where people barely touch them. They'll use them for like a week or two, give up, and then it just collects dust in people's garages. And you can find an assault bike that's like seven, 800 bucks brand new. You can get it for like 200 bucks, dude, on a marketplace, 300 bucks. That's crazy. <laughs> the comment says banning recording exactly how they're banning the creeps. The women recording themselves at the gym, to be clear, are the creeps. There are a few things that irritate modern women more than when someone limits their ability to gain attention or portray themselves as a victim. Wow. They should ban booty shorts and leggings as well. Put some damn clothes on. Yeah, the booty shorts or those like scrunched pants that go in your butt need to get banned. Like, first of all, they're not that comfortable. Two, they're shaped. So they make your ass look in a way it doesn't naturally. Why are you wearing shapewear to the gym? The whole point is to have loose fitting clothing that makes it easy to move around so you can work out and you want to see what your body looks like. If you're going to look in the mirror, you don't want shapewear on. You want to see what you look like without anything and build upon your weaknesses. Ban cameras, ban clout chasers. We desperately need men only gyms. We do. Seriously. I wonder what the legalese is for men only gyms. I wonder if you could do a layout. I'm assuming because there's laws on the books that you can't have male-only facilities, of course, but there's been a whole bunch of female-only stuff, the double standards of society. But I'm wondering if you could get a gym that's like a two-story and say like the first story is men-only and then the second story is female-only. Maybe you could say it's for religious purposes. I don't know, something. There has to be a loophole where you could make it happen because you technically do allow women. They're just on a whole nother floor. Like maybe you have women-only specialized equipment specialized workout atmosphere with like female only trainers or so, some shit like that. There has to be a loophole. Somebody has to think of something like this because it would be insanely popular. The more hardcore a gym is, the more I'm w willing to go there, the more I'm willing to pay, the more I want to be in the presence of everybody getting after it. There's nothing hardcore about some chick recording herself with pink dumbbells in the stupidest gym attire imaginable just to get some views on TikTok. Ridiculous.